Happy Tuesday and welcome to Coffee with Compassion. If Coffee with Compassion is a blessing to you, I'd ask you to please share today's devotional. It's always good to start the day in God's Word, just to get a little bit of uh, fresh air into our spiritual lungs. Uh, last week, we began talking about wisdom, and I said that we make approximately 35,000 remote conscious decisions per day. Uh, it's been said that we make decisions and our decisions make us. So each of us need wisdom. Specifically, we need the wisdom of God to make the best decisions. You know, at my age, I have a little room for error. I don't know about you, so I need to make my decisions count. Uh, Solomon had the opportunity to ask God for anything. We saw that last time, and he asked God for wisdom to lead God's people. And that wisdom paid great dividends in his life. And the book of Proverbs is full of wisdom. It's full of the wisdom of God and wisdom and insight from Solomon. So this morning, I'm going to begin in Proverbs chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. Uh, the scripture says this, These are the Proverbs of Solomon, David's son, king of Israel. Their purpose is to teach people wisdom and discipline, to help them understand the insights of the wise. And their purpose is to teach people to live disciplined and successful lives, to help them do what is just, right, and fair. Now, we, we see the purpose of the book of Proverbs is to give us wisdom for daily living. It gives us insight into the wisdom of God. The Proverbs teach us how to live disciplined lives. I'm coming back to that. They teach us to be successful and to guide us into what is right, just, and fair. Uh, so this morning, just for a moment, I want to look at that phrase or expression to live disciplined lives because you might be thinking, what does discipline mean? has have to do with wisdom. What is Solomon trying to tell us here? Uh, wisdom is not just simply knowing something or having insight into something. It's not even just gained on our past experience. It's having the right knowledge, the right understanding, the right insight, and applying it to our lives. That is the discipline. To, to know, to have the insight, to have wisdom, but we are to apply it to our lives. Matter of fact, if we know what is right, just, and fair, and we don't apply it to our lives, then the Bible would call that foolishness. Solomon said that wisdom is important. It's more important than things that we put value on this earth. Uh, Proverbs 16 and 16 tells us this, how much better to get wisdom than gold and good judgment than silver? See, gold is a precious metal. It has great monetary value. It has lasting value. Nations that possess gold, man, they can control the economies of the world. It represents power and prestige and wealth, everything that the world is pursuing. But the thing we need to understand is gold, even though when the new uh, Jerusalem descends, gold is pavement. Okay, gold is not something we're going to carry into eternity with us. You know, I think we've probably all said, you know, in our lives, I wish when I was younger, I knew what I know now. I would have done things differently, okay? Those different decisions that we would have made probably would have been, I know in my case, I would have made a whole lot wiser decisions over the course of my life. That's why it's more important than gold and silver because it has something that affects our future and even in eternity. So if our decisions make us, okay, then we need to make wise decisions and we have to allow wisdom to guide our lives. We have to apply it to our lives. Solomon also said in Proverbs 4 and 7 that wisdom is the principal thing. He said, therefore get wisdom and in all you're getting, get understanding. So what is Solomon saying when he says wisdom is the principal thing? He's simply saying this, that wisdom is the truth that serves as the foundation for what we believe. 
It also serves as the foundation for our behavior and how we reason things in life. He said, so it's the principal thing. You, you need to be established in truth, righteousness, justice, and fairness. And he said, you need to get it. With all you're getting, he said, get understanding. So ultimately, where do we get this wisdom from? When we open our hearts to God's word. Proverbs 2 and 6 says this, For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Wisdom is ultimately learned from God's word. And when we apply it and we walk it out, our decisions and actions will be wise ones. Let's close this morning in prayer. Father, we thank you, God, for your word. We thank you that it is the wisdom of God. It's what's been proclaimed by you. Lord, may it be a light into our path, a lamp into our feet. Lord, may not only we hear it and have insight, but God, that we apply it, that we can make right decisions each day. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want you to have a great day and seek the wisdom of God.